What I know for sure is that speaking your truth is the most powerful tool we all have. And I'm especially proud and inspired by all the women who have felt strong enough and empowered enough to speak up and share their personal stories. So I want tonight to express gratitude to all the women who have endured years of abuse and assault because they, like my mother, had children to feed and bills to pay and dreams to pursue. They, they, they're the women whose names we'll never know. They are domestic workers and farm workers. They are working in factories and they work in restaurants and they're in academia and engineering and medicine and science. They're part of the world of tech and politics and business. There are athletes in the Olympics and there are soldiers in the military and there's someone else. In 1944, Reese Taylor was a young wife and a mother. She was just walking home from a church service when she was abducted by six armed white men, raped and left blindfolded by the side of the road. The men who tried to destroy her were never persecuted. Reese Taylor died 10 days ago. She lived as we all have lived too many years in a culture broken by brutally powerful men. For too long, women have not been heard or believed if they dared to speak their truth to the power of those men. But their time is up. So I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. And when that new day finally dawns, it will be because of a lot of magnificent women and some pretty phenomenal men fighting hard to make sure that they become the leaders who take us to the time when nobody ever has to say, me too, again.